the last time that I vlogged, maybe I should say hey. <laughs> okay, the last time that I vlogged, I was living in Europe for my semester abroad, um, and that was in 2019, and it is now almost 2023. I'm back. <laughs> well, there's no, there's no way to explain myself in my three year absence other than like yeah, COVID happened and then I graduated college and then I started a career and then I quit and then I found a new career and then I quit that company that I found another one um, and I am no longer in England. So a lot's changed. We're gonna chat while I do my makeup because I have to film for a brand because also in my absence, um, I started TikTok and so now I like do work for brands, which is a lot of fun. But all that to say, I have to film today for Title Max. So I'm gonna film that now, but I need to put on a little bit of makeup because I look a little bit decrepit. Um, so we're gonna get into that. Also, I just, I'm so used to, the TikTok style of filming, where you have to like stop recording after every like little bit. But with vlogging, I can just record and record and then I can edit it later. That's kind of crazy. A lot has, I am so out of my groove with vlogging because I haven't done it in so long. Um, but I figured it'd be fun to vlog because I like doing little like TikTok vlogs. Like what if I did like a week in my life? So I think this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a week in my life vlog um, because I'm going to New York this week for my works holiday party, so that'll be fun to vlog. And then I'm going to the 1975 concert tomorrow with my best friend, so that'll be fun to vlog. Um, but my hesitance, maybe I should start doing my makeup too. My hesitation with vlogging was that I feel like my life isn't that exciting because like while I do content creation, like TikTok and Instagram stuff, I also am just like working most of the day, like most people. I teach a spin class or I go to True Fusion and work out, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this and we're gonna have fun and um, vlogging, we're, we're gonna do it. I'm trying to think of all the stuff that's happened in my life since the last time um, we like talked on YouTube. I feel like a majority of my YouTube followers that I hope to gain um, are gonna come from my TikTok audience. So you guys know what's been going on, but for anyone who may have just like for the first time run across me on YouTube, um, the last time that I filmed a video for YouTube, like I said, I was living in England because I was doing a semester abroad and I had just gotten out of a three year relationship with my college boyfriend. So I was like exploring that, figuring that out. Also going through deciding like if I really connected with Christianity still, if like my faith was going to be a big part of my life and I was just kind of doing a lot of growing up at that time and I really do wish that I continued vlogging or creating some kind of content then just because having a virtual diary I think is always a lot of fun but that's fine um so I came back and I pretty quickly started dating um someone new and that ended up being absolutely awful because as most COVID relationships go, like there was already the pressure of that. And then it ended up being really emotionally and financially abusive. But we stayed together until 2021. And then we broke up. And I was single for um, all of 2021 after that. I was like seeing people, you know, here and there. But I was single for a good, like for that whole year. And then in 2022, I started dating my current boyfriend. I guess I'm just giving you relationship <laughs> updates. <laughs> but in 2022, I started dating my current boyfriend. We started dating in April. Um, and that's a lot of fun. He's great. So I'm really happy. As for job updates, well, I started doing TikTok and taking that seriously, which is a lot of fun because I feel like everyone kind of downloaded the app, especially if you're older, like in your 20s. You download the app and you think, you know, this is for younger people. Like, I'm just scrolling. I'm not going to get into it. And then you get really into it. And then before you know it, you become a creator with almost 200,000 followers. And that's something. <laughs> Life comes at you fast. But um, so I do that. And then I also, um, when I came back from... England, I was finishing my senior year of college and I started working at Fidelity. I worked in um, finance for a little bit and that I think sucked the life out of my soul. Truly it did. So then I started working in ad tech at this company based in Texas um, with one of my close friends and I enjoyed that. 
Um, but then I decided I wanted to move to Denver and they said no. So I said, okay, then I'll quit. So uh, then I started working for a new company based in New York and I, y'all, I didn't know that people could genuinely love their jobs. I thought anyone who said that they love their job was lying, but I love my job. I love my coworkers. I love my bosses. I love the company. Um, so I go to New York once every six weeks or so, and so I'm going this week for the holiday party, and I'm so excited. I'll show you all my dress when I get there, probably, because um, like I said, this is going to be a whole, a whole week in my life. I figured why not start off with a bang. I'm also kind of nervous. I'm going to edit this back and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. Um, it's, I talk to the camera every day. Like, that's what I do on TikTok. I, I talk. But this feels a little different, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to be editing. Also, I, like, very rarely edit, like, long, like, longer than one and a half to, like, three-minute clips of myself. So this will be an experience. But like I was saying, I'm going to New York to be with them for the holiday party, and I am thrilled about that. So I'll take y'all along. I obviously won't show you, like the office and stuff like that because privacy reasons um but I'll you know film what I can but I want this to be fun and I want this to be a good vlog I want us to have a good time together and I was talking to my management and they were just saying like people want to see regular mundane lives because that's what we live it's so hard to watch like creators who live these really really extravagant lives because for a lot of people that's just not attainable so I'm thankful that I kind of have the balance of like I work a nine to five you know a full-time job and I also do content creation and it's a lot of fun to be able to do both but I think that working my nine to five keeps me like grounded in a way I hope that makes sense also I feel like on camera I look really yellow I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder do I look? When I edit this, I'll be able to tell. Maybe I should change the settings. It's because I'm under these ugly fluorescent lights. But I feel like my makeup looks yellow. I promise you, my makeup is not actually yellow. Um, it does indeed match my skin tone. I also picked up these new earrings from Madewell. I get the same ones every like three months or so because I don't think you're supposed to like sleep in them and work out in them and shower in them, but I do because I don't like taking my jewelry off. So I picked up a new pair from Madewell, but these ones are like shiny. There we go. These ones are like shiny, whereas my other ones weren't shiny. They were just kind of like the gold plated, but not very shiny. I don't know. So I picked those up and I think that they're precious. And um, this will be my new everyday jewelry for the next until they turn. For those of you coming from TikTok, I feel like when I first started off, I was a lot more open about my life and I shared more stuff. But as you grow a following, I think that you have to be a little bit more selective about what you share and what you say just because you're opening up your life to opinions and thoughts from other people and sometimes people aren't very kind. So you become, you become like really selective, I think. Um, but I wanted to start TikTok, or not TikTok, this is, um, I wanted to start YouTube because I feel like we get to really connect in the way that I used to on TikTok and um, it's a new creative outlet and y'all get to see more of my day-to-day -day life, which I know that a few of you have been asking for me to start YouTube and do vlogs, and I've been kind of putting it off, because here's the thing. I don't ever want to start something that I'm not actually going to commit to, because I don't think that it's fair to, like, introduce a new form of content to my audience and then just, like, disappear from it, because I've done it before and it's not fair and I don't want to do it again. So by recording this and editing and posting this, I'm trying my best to make the commitment to doing this long term um but that's basically it for my makeup it was just a little bit of cc cream some concealer fixed my eyebrows a little bit i have lash extensions as i'm sure you can tell so i don't have to do anything with those but that's it i gotta film this and then get back to work i'm trying to um get reintroduced to my vlogging career and i already have something in my teeth wonderful wonderful uh, yeah, this is definitely the career path for me. <laughs> okay, I'm done filming for Title Max. I have a work call in three minutes. Um, sometimes balancing like content creation, which feels like a full-time job, and then my actual full-time job is a lot, but I'm really thankful for it. Like I hate complaining about it because I'm so thankful that I have 
both opportunities that I do um because I love creating content and I also love my job but sometimes when things are due um like on a weekday it can just feel like a lot but I got it done so I'm gonna hop on to this work call that I have in a couple minutes and then we'll chat after I ordered like six or seven dresses from Lulu's for my work holiday party and I didn't like a single one of them um, not a single one of them and it's really disappointing when you go off of measurements that they have on the website and then you get an item in and it doesn't fit um, I am almost always a medium in Lulu's clothes but I ordered these dresses and the mediums were not fitting and of course like my initial thought was like okay well maybe I gained weight which is fine or like maybe whatever but no, because I have some dresses from Lulu's that are mediums and I tried those on to see and they fit perfectly. It's just like each dress is cut differently and I think that <sighs> women's clothing is tough. Women's sizing and clothing is really tough um, and so sometimes it's trial and error but I have about $500 of error that needs to be returned so that I can spend that money on other things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and return these and then I kind of clean the apartment a little bit. I need to do more. My friend Savannah is coming tomorrow. Um, I think her flight gets in at like 930. So I just want to make sure that everything is spick and span for her to get here. And I also feel like, and I feel like a lot of people are like this, I have a really hard time doing things like doing other tasks until my space feels clean. So like things need to be wiped down. I saw this TikTok. And it made me laugh. She was like, I can't put up the Christmas tree until my car is detailed. I'm like, no, I understand. I, I completely understand. So I'm going to go print out the return label on this, drop it off at the UPS, and then get on with my day. I just got back and the sun is already setting. It is 4.19 p.m. Um, but look how precious this is. If you don't follow me on TikTok, then um, you haven't seen, or Instagram, so follow me on both. You haven't seen this yet. Um, it's just a little sign that says I'm on your side, which is something that I say um, in my personal life and online all the time. But I have a lot of stuff to get done. I have to finish up work for the day because I left to go run that errand really quick. I just wanted to make sure that I got there before. This is semi-fine. Mm, that's semi-fine. A makeshift tripod. Um, I left to go get that done because I wanted to make sure that um, the return got made today because if I didn't make it by today, then they were going to take a $7 credit for late shipping or whatever, whatever they were saying. So I got that done. Um, but I left a little early, so I have to finish up something for work. Checking that really quick. I've got to finish up something for work. Um, and then... What am I even, what am I talking about? And I also realized that because Savannah's coming tomorrow and then we have the concert tomorrow night, I should pack for New York tonight because I leave early Wednesday morning and I won't have time unless I pack tomorrow, but she'll be here tomorrow, so we're probably gonna like wanna go do something. Um, so I should pack tonight. And I also have a photo shoot on the 18th for a new wellness Instagram that I'm starting that I can't wait to tell you guys about. Um, I haven't said much about it just because it's not launching till January and I hate to like, tease things for too long but it's a whole it's a wellness but like accessible wellness we'll talk more about that i'm sure before this vlog is over but i have to pay the photographer's deposit and then pay for my spot on the 18th at the uh, studio we want to do so i need to do that um but i made a tiktok not long ago maybe i'll put it in here but it's just saying like being stressed does nothing for me being stressed does not serve me all being stressed does is just like make me feel more stressed and i could use that time to be going on a walk or calling a friend or eating something or like just taking a little mental break and then come back refreshed but like sitting in my stress does nothing for me it doesn't give me more money it doesn't make me more capable it does nothing so i'm trying not to feel that stress right now i just have quite a bit of things to do but they're gonna get done this is just a little sneak peek at what the apartment looks like like right after sunset the sun is kind of already going down behind the mountains but the mountains are right there i have a cute little view which i appreciate but it's so precious and just cozy in here i'll give a full i think apartment tour at some point definitely before i move out i've just worked so hard on making this the coziest and comfiest little space um and i love being here so much that i like get literal anxiety when i have to leave 
So I don't know what that says about me, but maybe just that I have anxiety. I think that's what it says about me. Okay, I went ahead and made my smoothie. I'm sorry I'm out of frame, but this was just the easiest way for me to show you. All it is is the Kos uh, Plant Protein Powder. I do two scoops of that, one whole banana, um, a scoop of the Justin's Almond Butter, and sometimes I'll do milk, most times I'll do water, just because I like the consistency. I think of the water a little bit more, and then um, a good handful of ice, and that's all it is. I also realized that I didn't do like a key thing that I was supposed to do which was try on my dress with my boots to make sure that I like the dress with the boots or if I needed to get heels um, and tonight was my last night to or today was my last day to do that so that tonight I could go shopping for shoes if I needed them but it completely slipped my mind all day that I needed to be trying on the dress with the boots so I'm gonna do that when I get back and hopefully I like it but if not then <laughs> Um, I'll find some I'll find something it's not a big deal okay it's about 545 now I'm gonna head out the door it is cold outside so I've got my little uh, shacket on but everything that I'm wearing like my sports bra this little top and then my leggings are from Lulu um, I really like working out in their stuff so that's all from Lulu um, what else so all I have to do I started packing a little bit not that much <laughs> but a little bit I packed a few things um, I need to try some things on and like outfit plan and I'll probably start that tonight finish that tomorrow during the day just because I don't know that I'll be able to do that tonight and then finish editing and submitting the content for title max and then also do you like the photographer stuff and book the studio just lots going on tonight which is totally fine I have the time to do it between today and tomorrow before I leave and some things can be done like when I'm gone too but title max content is due tomorrow I think at 9 a.m. so I've got to do that tonight um, but yeah I'm gonna head out the door go to this class and then come back make dinner I have been obsessed with the sweet green harvest bowls and I got all the stuff to make it at home except I don't have kale right now so honestly I might order sweet green because that just sounds really good so I might do that I just got home from true fusion um, do I have the time to sit in my car and zone out no I don't but that is the only thing that I feel like I can get myself to do I feel like this is a pretty common sentiment and like maybe you guys will understand what I'm talking about I am perfectly fine with having things to do as they come up like that's fine to me but when I have a to-do list I get very easily overwhelmed and I hate to be like that influencer that's like oh my god I have so much to do I'm so busy and it's like two things um but I just like after working all day and then knowing that I have more like content work to do and then like personal work to do I just feel overwhelmed by it and that's fine I don't think anyone is judging me for being overwhelmed I think that um I simply am and you know that is that's okay I think that I'm just a little bit emotionally exhausted today I've been having like a really hard body image day and I have been trying to remind myself that we don't weigh ourselves for punishment I don't need to weigh myself to prove that I have been eating a certain way whether that be good or bad like I don't need to weigh myself to um, like celebrate my weight and I don't need to weigh myself to like make myself feel guilty or bad and like use that as a way to motivate me to work out like my weight is just what it is and I don't need to be ascribing or subscribing um like morality to it or goodness or badness to it it just it it's fine I think that it's just been tough because I've gained a little bit of weight since I moved to Denver and I am so in my head about it and I, I shouldn't be but I am and I feel like by being honest about it maybe it'll help me overcome the anxiety about it I just think that when you spend so much of your time like filming yourself and creating content you become um, hypercritical of like the way that you look the way that your mouth moves the way that your body moves the way that your voice sounds like I am just so critical about so much of my body and um I think that I've always been kind of you know like I've always noticed my body per se but like I think that since becoming a creator I've been more critical of it and I'm really trying to break that habit um I just like I have this anxiety that if I notice everyone else is going to notice and I I feel like I've noticed my weight gain and so I feel like everyone else has noticed it I don't even know if I'm going to put this in I really because I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea and I don't want anyone to like I would never notice this about anyone else but 
I notice it because it's myself and I hope that you guys hear me when I say that like I am not going around like judging other people if I like I don't notice other people's weight the way that I notice my own weight and I feel like that's a pretty common sentiment like I feel like a lot of people you know feel that way I just I feel like I've been noticing it I feel like I am comparing myself like how how long I can do the reps how many like how like how heavy I'm lifting how fast I'm doing the jumps like I just am so it's fine I will be fine it is just weight but I think that anyone who has struggled with an ED like it it doesn't just go away right like you don't just heal from it you don't just magically not care about your weight or your body image anymore once you've recovered from a certain ED like that's not how it works um I don't know. I think just talking about it has been helpful. This is a stupidly long clip. And I'm already in my head about how long this week in my life is going to be. I got in and I showered. And I think that I feel a little bit better. I still have my entire to-do list to do. But I took a long shower. Um, and then I made this chicken Caesar salad. I was going to make a wrap. But I am out of tortillas. Good morning. It is 7.40. We're going to get ready. I've already walked fits and like made my bed, you know, all that like morning stuff. So I just need to like wash my face, brush my teeth, um, make a quick little breakfast. And then I usually log on by 8. Sometimes I log on earlier, but I didn't get out of bed till like 7.10 this morning. So we're a little bit delayed. I feel like anytime I use the Polish Choice, um, this stuff... I wake up and my skin just looks incredible and glowing from the inside out. So I used it last night, but I also feel kind of like I wake up and it's a little oily, probably because it's pulling everything out. Do you know what I'm talking about? I just feel like it's a little oily, so whenever I wash my face, it's like a perfectly clean, beautiful, no pores slate. Um, right now, I'm just doing my vitamin C serum. My favorite moisturizers or too low moisturizers since i moved to denver my skin has been stupidly dry just because it's so dry here um and i'm pretty used to the humidity but i love the too low 24 7 moisturizer this one's really good for during the day can you i wanted to focus so you guys can see this um if i influence you to buy one skincare thing i hope it's this moisturizer my skin has never been so hydrated and at night i use the beauty sleep when i tell you I slather this on. I wake up a glowing miracle. So good. I forgot I put on sunscreen every single day. I use the Super Goop Glow Screen. I don't use that much of it because realistically, I am not outside for very much of the day. Um, just because the only time I'm really outside, like I'm walking my dog and I'm not out there for very long, especially now that it's cold. But I'll put on more if I know I'm going to be outside for longer. But sunscreen every day i truly believe has changed my skin okay this is the finished product i just have on glow screen and then i filled in my eyebrows and i have lash extensions so of course you know those stay on but it is now 7 57 so i need to hurry up and log on to work i feel so much better i got my editing done alex and i talked on the phone for a few hours last night so um at the end of that i just went to bed so i didn't get to finish editing or packing which is on my to-do list yesterday but i got my editing done i got that submitted to the brand um and then i got my morning work stuff done i made my smoothie so i'm just drinking that as i um clean up the savannah will be here in like an hour or so so I'm just mopping up the floors. They needed a good mopping. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about how my chin really itches and I sound like a man. Thanks for tuning in. Savannah's here. So. <laughs> no, I understand. I just don't <laughs> like it. We just ordered lunch. We got Modern Market. Um, I just got the steak bowl with like some sides. And Savannah got, what do you get? Um, the chicken basil pesto sandwich, I think. Mm. That's what it is. Very delicious. Is it busting, what do you say? It's busting. <laughs> okay, couple exciting things happened. Savannah and I went to the dispensary. I'm wondering if YouTube will let me say dispensary. Probably, you live in Colorado. Hear that, YouTube? I live in Colorado. We went to the dispensary, we both spent too much money. Um, but then I came back in this aloe, not aloe, but uh, beyond yoga, well, thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> um, we got a few things and then I went to uh, check my mail and my Beyond Yoga sets came in and I have never felt so flattered. And they're so soft, so cozy. I got it in this color and then I got it, I got it in this blue color and then this like purple spacey color. Okay, I am almost done packing. I just have to put like my toiletries and stuff in there, but I need my makeup tonight for the concert. So that's just gonna go on top and then I'm gonna close that up. And these are the shoes I'm wearing to the airport. So I'm just gonna leave those out. Okay, we're all ready to go. We're leaving, it's not on you, babe. <laughs> here we go. We're leaving now. These are our, you can't, okay, here. I'm gonna show Sab. She's wearing my top, cute jeans, some boots. Okay, do me, do me. Okay. All right, here we have a nice jacket with uh, the black top and the black jeans and socks and there's fits. Slay! So cute. <laughs> um, we're gonna leave now and get their doors open in like 30 minutes or so. So I'm really excited because Savannah and I have been seeing the 1975 together for like... Like 10 years? A very long time. I think the first time we went, I was 13. And you were The first time we went was 2014, so I was... So I was 15. I was 17. No, that doesn't make sense. I was 17. Is that true? Well, I... You Whatever. <laughs> it's been a long but time. A really long time, so I'm really excited to see them tonight. Um, I literally had to see this show live. As soon as I heard the album, I was like, I have to see it live. Oh, because O oh Caroline Live will spark something in me. It will. It will um, give me the will to live. So, that said, we'll see you later. Toodles! Hi friends, last time we talked, I was about to go to the concert with Sav. That was incredible. We went to the concert, it was so much fun, incredible. The whole like tagline is the 1975 at their very best, and that was their very best show. I enjoyed myself so much, and um, it was just really fun getting to go with Sav, because we've been going together, like we said, for years, so that was great. Um, and then I woke up really early this morning, hopped on a plane, and then came to New York, because I'm here for my holiday party. Um, right now, it is 5 p.m. We have dinner reservations with my team at 7.30, so I need to get ready, except I think that I forgot my beauty blender at home, which is quite the bummer, but there's a CVS really close to the hotel that I'm staying at um, which I say it all the time it is one of my favorite hotels in New York it's also conveniently the one that the company like puts us up in but I really do love it um, so I need to probably run to CVS grab a beauty blender and get some like other things that I need like makeup wipes and stuff because Trent, I'm gonna be honest with y'all okay there there's a lot of drinking that goes down when I'm visiting New York with the company um, and when I get back the last thing I want to do is my full like 10 step skincare routine. So makeup wipes have to do it sometimes. I mean, and if you've never been there, okay. Oh, but I'm, I'm there. Okay, so also this coat is from Zara. Isn't it so cute? I'm wearing it tomorrow for the holiday party. I realize I have two hours until, or like over two hours until my dinner reservation, about two hours till I have to leave. So I'm gonna take a nice steamy hot shower. Looked and I did pack my beauty blender. So I don't have to go to CVS tonight. Um, I might pop over there tomorrow at some time, but I don't need to go right now. But there is Joe's Pizza over there. And the temptation, y'all, the temptation to go to Joe's Pizza and get myself a little slicey slice. Okay, I showered, I got ready really quick, and I'm glad that I did because my coworker was like, hey, we're all meeting in the hotel bar before we go over to dinner. And dinner's not until 7.30 and it's 6.04 right now, so I can already tell where this night's gonna go. Um, that said, I'm glad that I got ready. So I'm just wearing this. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit because, you know, I am going to be with my coworkers, and then I'm going to put on this coat. I've got my coach bag, Madewell shoes, Princess Polly pants, um, a Ritzia shirt. I have to like put my hair over it because the shirt likes to do the thing where it like shows the side of my bra, and I don't think I brought a bra with me that wouldn't do that. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it's just a little bit annoying. So yeah, I'm going to head down there and hang out with them. I'm not going to vlog when I'm there, obviously, because like they're my coworkers and. They probably don't want to be on camera, but I'll check in when I get back. Also, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm not like bringing y'all to do a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just like talking about it. But for instance, like when I was at my workout class, like I don't, I'm not gonna bring my camera to the workout class. You know what I'm saying? You guys understand, you guys get it. Okay, I'll see you later. I am stuffy and congested and also exhausted. We did end up staying out till like 1 a.m. last night, which was a lot of fun. 
it was it was a lot of fun but thinking about the fact that I had to do that all again today it's oh no we're gonna watch no it's um 10 a.m I think and I have to go into the office so I need to get ready really quick go grab a coffee grab breakfast get into the office um work and then we have a meeting like a group a company meeting okay i did it i feel like in record time i'm ready for the office i'm just wearing this pink sweater from aritzia these blue jeans from aritzia the brand is done for them and then my white madewell shoes and my leather madewell bag i just use it as a work bag when i'm here okay i am back home from work i home i'm in the hotel i'm about halfway done getting ready i need to finish my makeup and then obviously put on my clothes and everything alex is here he went downstairs to get us some drinks um so we can like drink a little bit while we get ready and I think that's the update. I'm not going to bring you guys. I'm so sick of saying it. You're probably sick of hearing it, but I'm not going to bring you guys to the party for obvious reasons, but I am really excited. My whole team's going to be there. The whole company's going to be there. It's going to be a really fun time. You guys may have been thinking, Sierra, where have you been since yesterday? Um, here's the truth. I, the last thing I vlogged was me getting ready, I think, and then I did not show you all my outfit because I was rushing out the door because we realized we were a little bit late when it came down to it. Um, and then we went to the party. I didn't vlog there. I have some clips, but... I, and I feel like you guys are gonna understand what I'm talking about here. I had so much fun. For, I was transparently very drunk, so I'm, there was no vlog camera coming out. I had so much fun. But there were so many moments and like clips that I got and just like little memories that have been popping up throughout the day where it's like, these are mine. And it's not that I don't wanna take you guys along on my life. Um, obviously I do, that's why I vlog, that's why I make TikToks and share so much stuff on my Instagram. But there's some moments that just feel like yours and special because they're yours. Like if I showed y'all a video of us drug singing at karaoke, you would be like, that's really loud and annoying and I don't wanna sit through numerous videos of that but for me it's like that's a sweet fond memory and i have to remember i think as i dive more into creating content like long form content that my life does not have to be content everything i do doesn't have to be recorded and edited and posted and shared you guys are gonna get it i know you guys are gonna get it because you guys are the best i just like i think that part of me felt a little guilty that i wasn't vlogging more when i was in new york but then i remembered that those are my memories and they're special to me and they probably wouldn't translate in the same way just like sharing them to you you guys like they're not your people so you don't want to see videos of them you like you come to my channel to see videos of me i guess i don't know i'm still trying to get like my thoughts around this because i don't just want to get in the habit of just like telling you about stuff that i'm doing rather than showing you i think that's the point of vlogging is like showing you but i'm also trying to find a good balance my suitcase literally is still just in the middle because i got in a little bit later than i was supposed to because my flight was delayed a little bit by the time we boarded and then it took a long time to get us like actually in the air and then it took a long time because we were going like against the wind so all in all the flight took like five hours which is absurd it should not take that long but i got in a little late and i had some work that i needed to do um i could have done it on the plane but i was exhausted and just not feeling great after last night's activities so i got in i just did those things really quick um, i ordered some stuff from moon juice because i've heard really good things one of my friends elizabeth you guys might know her on tiktok is eat elizabeth or on instagram she's incredible um i was over her apartment and i saw that she had some moon juice products and i was curious about them so i ordered some on black friday and they're just not getting here but honestly i'm not even mad at them because they had a pretty good sale and then they allowed me to like stack elizabeth's code on top of it not just me specifically they would have let anyone do it but what i'm saying is they didn't prevent stacking so i got in two little supplements the first one which one is this is the ashwagandha but it, it looks like this and i think that i just take a little bit in the morning with my coffee or just like in my water okay and then i got magnesium i'm so excited because i've been reading that we don't get enough magnesium in our diets um and even like on the drug facts on the back of food or the calorie facts or whatever um it says magnesium, but the actual like amount in there is pretty, um, what word am I looking for? Like it's not always true, um, factual. It's not always factual. So I got this to try and I'm just supposed to take one teaspoon a day. And I've seen people have been mixing this in their tea at night to help them sleep. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, you can't see my face, but it's, what time is it? 8.51. Um, I am ready for bed, honestly. So I'm making my magnesium in my tea. So I'm gonna do just one 
teaspoon of this. I'm not gonna do like a heaping one, just like a small little one. And then I'm gonna do my elderberry. Oh wait, no, this one has ashwagandha in it. Oh, well that's kind of good, I think. I think I wanted the one with ashwagandha in it because I can try that a little bit too. So I'm gonna try this elderberry lemon balm. Which one is this? Okay. So just a regular one of those. Oh gosh, my camera's gonna die. Hopefully I can finish this, I can charge it tonight. Um, okay, and then put that in there. Give myself a little. One of my good friends, Tony, sent me this cuddle when I first moved into my Dallas apartment. Um, and it meant so much to me. Stir it up. This looks like it's gonna be good. It smells really good because this, the magnesium is berry, berry calm, relaxation and sleep, which I need. Cause sometimes I have trouble sleeping through the night. Um, it's been better a lot more recently just because I've been like working out more and so my body is just tired of doing tasks by the end of the day. I also feel like this is a weird clip cause I'm, it's like, what is that? What is that character from like the children shows where you could only see this much of them, you could never see their head. That was in the Proud Family, I think, right? Or also in Fairly Odd Parents, the mayor. No, 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 he had the big top hat. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it was in the Proud Family where you could never see the head of the one character. That's what I feel. The basketball player. That's what it was. Okay. Um, anyways, I teach spin tomorrow at 1045. Um, and I haven't taught in a week, so I'm excited to go back and do that. But I need to get some sleep so that I can you know, feel energized in the morning. Good morning. That is like the first word that I've said all day. Um, it is, what time is it? It's 9.30. And I just walked Fitz. And I'm about to leave because I teach a spin class this morning at 2.45. I just got back from teaching spin. It was a really good class. Um, and I talked to my boss after. And we had just an incredible conversation about like where I am and how I'm feeling. And we agreed that... Um, I'm gonna teach this Wednesday and I'm gonna teach on Saturday. But um, after that, I'm gonna take a step back. And I think that's just what I need to do right now. I think that I have never been a person where I'm like half in something. I'm either, I'm either all in or all out. And I've been feeling really just like half and half, which doesn't make me feel good about what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a step back, I'm gonna reevaluate, and then I'm gonna start teaching again January, February time. But this Saturday, this one coming up, so I'm posting this on Sunday. Next Saturday, my class is gonna be a free class for all of my Denver friends to come out and ride. It's gonna be so fun. So if you live in the Denver area, please come. If you live in the Denver, it's free, it's in DTC. Um, I'll be there, obviously I'll be teaching. We're gonna have a good time. I think I'm gonna bring like mimosa stuff. We're gonna have mimosas after class. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I really, really hope to see you there if you live in the Denver area. Um, and so I'm gonna take a shower. It's 1.30 now, I stayed there till one talking to her. And then I talked to Alex on the phone for a while. Um, so I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna walk fit, and then I think I'm gonna take a nap because I'm still pretty exhausted from being in New York, honestly. Good morning, it's 7.10, I have yoga at 8.30. Um, I put on this adorable, I'm gonna back up, Beyond Yoga set, I have it in red, I have it in this color, and I have it in purple. I just got them for Black Friday, or on Black Friday, and they are seriously some of the most comfortable like sets I've ever put on. I'm wearing a medium, I think it is so flattering, and it's compressive without being like, you know, like you can move and breathe in it, which is great because I'm obviously wearing this to yoga. But I stopped vlogging yesterday because y'all, after I did the last clip, I swear to God, I slept all day. Um, and I don't know if I needed to do, like catch up on sleep or what was going on because I feel fine. I just was so tired. But I'm gonna make my protein shake. I'm gonna walk fits. I have a pile of laundry right here. The beauty of vlogging is that you only have to show what you want to show, but I have a pile of laundry right there that I need to fold, um, which is totally fine. I'll get it done. And today is like my errand day, so I need to go grocery shopping. I need it to just like tidy up. I need to wash my bed sheets, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm also gonna be vlogging on TikTok because this vlog is gonna end I thought it was going to end it yesterday so I could edit it today, but I'm going to be out doing stuff today anyway, so I might as well just vlog. Um, so I decided that this vlog is going to end somewhere in the afternoon, but then my TikTok vlog that I'm posting is going to go all day. So you'll see the TikTok vlog 
around this actually I'm gonna post this today so you'll see the TikTok vlog around the same time that you see this vlog so lots of editing to do um I decided that I wanted to make myself busy today I guess to make up for the fact that I slept all day yesterday but we're gonna get ready we're gonna start by turning on my adorable little sign this is my favorite thing to do every morning I'm obsessed I'm obsessed I'm folding laundry and I was just about to make a cup of coffee and then I remembered that I'm only trying to drink coffee when I need it. I think I told you guys this, but I've been noticing a big change in my sleep and just in my like overall anxiety because I'm drinking a lot less caffeine. Like I switched over to um, caffeine free diet coke, which was I think the biggest culprit of like, the caffeine I was drinking because I don't really drink that much coffee. Okay, I know I told y'all that I wasn't going to do caffeine, but I decided that I actually did want um, some tea so I'm making a tea but I don't have a to-go tea canister all I have is like my coffee cups and so I'm a little bit worried about how I'm gonna well I have this I have like a little just wet tumbler that I can use but I decided that I wanted some tea because I wanted to try my ashwagandha I'm also like running a little bit behind so we're like scurrying around but I wanted to try the ashwagandha that I got from moon juice and um, everywhere that I've been reading says that we I should try taking it in the morning first and see how I enjoy it so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that I need to walk fits I wanted to leave in the next five minutes but I feel like I'll be leaving in the next ten minutes and now that I've accepted that I can calm the hell down I can't get this to open I don't remember how much this was but I remember it being expensive without the sale so part of me is like low-key hoping that I don't actually enjoy it we're gonna have pomegranate white tea from Trader Joe's. I really like this tea a lot. We're gonna have this one this morning. Um, but I remember it being kind of expensive, so I'm kind of hoping that I don't like it so that I don't have to keep repurchasing it because I got it on a Black Friday sale and then Elizabeth's code stacked on top of it. I think her code is EatLizabeth15 if you wanna, oh, probably I shouldn't pour that right by the powder. Um, if you wanna try it, the magnesium, I've only taken it twice now and I'm obsessed. I think that's a lot of water, but it'll it'll do. Um, I'm obsessed with it, and I can't wait to keep using it and see how it like, affects me long term. Okay, a serving size is a quarter of a teaspoon. It says it's earthy and bitter, so I'm gonna add some honey to my to my tea. Okay, so just like a little. This is what I'm doing, putting it right in there. I hope I like this stuff, like the taste of it. I hope I like the taste of it because I don't want it to ruin my tea. <laughs> Okay, um, just the regular Target honey. I'm gonna throw that right on top. I am horrible and I let my tea bag steep in the, in the thing for like hours on end until I'm done drinking it. I just never think to take them out once it's done steeping. Um, I just made it to True Fusion. It's 8.15, class starts at 8.30, so I'm gonna run in there and get a spot, uh, fill up my water, all that good stuff. The tea ended up being really good. Um, it's just pomegranate white tea with the ashwagandha mixed in and some honey. Very good, very, very good. So this class is 75 minutes. Elizabeth and I are gonna do it, and then we're gonna go to brunch. You don't have a dollar? You're so <laughs> I'm back home, I've showered. I don't even wanna show y'all the pile of laundry I still have to do. Okay, thanks Fitz. Um, I don't even wanna show y'all the amount of laundry that I have to do, I will. I will show y'all. Under that, it's folded. The top part is what just came out of the dryer and you can probably hear that I still have some clothes going in. Anyways, I'm going to fold my laundry and tidy up around here and then make my grocery list and go to the grocery store but I am gonna end the vlog here just because I still have to edit this, edit the TikTok and then do some other stuff so I can't just keep vlogging or else I'll vlog all day and then the vlog won't go up today. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, more of these to come, like week in my life, weekend in my life, day in my life sit down videos, whatever, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out a good groove over here on YouTube and we're gonna have a good time together. Okay, but I love you, I'm on your side. Mwah.